Ape shit, ape shit, murder work. Gorilla ape. niggas hungry, eat your plate shit. Uh, uh. We don't shoot at legs, bitch, we face shit. Bop, bop, bop. You know, staying gang, quick to take shit. Give it up, let that. Still on that trap, that sex and A shit. Child, hey. Trap still rolling on some skate shit. Bite steady, now look drunk, you say I got a great wrist. Will. Set up shop on my block, you become a great lick. Nigga, you a stay. That's a matter of time, nigga, trying to come. Step inside the booth and unloosen the top 5039 is alive. What's good, man? It's your boy 5039. One half of the Texas Trio Boxing Talk. Shout out to the whole LDBC, New Media, everybody on YouTube doing their motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? I am 5039, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I want to come talk to you today, it's early morning, uh, April the 18th. You know what I'm saying? It's like 5 in the morning. I'm at the J right now. I got a little break, so I'm on my little, uh, on my downtime. I'm throwing out, uh, you know, because I work in the freezer and shit, so, you know, we get to come out of there and, you know, warm up a little bit, so I got a little time, uh, so I'm going to make this video, come face to face with you guys. I haven't made a video in, I don't know, a couple of days, maybe, three, four days, you know what I'm saying? I want to give a special shout out to the boy Trap House Boxing. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to the OG man. Uh, I seen my, my 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 boy just hit a, a thousand subs, man. That's that's wonderful, man. You know what I'm saying? That's great, man. That's motivation. You know what I'm saying? For dudes like me and other smaller channels in the LDBC to keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? So big ups to Trap House Boxing, man. One of my favorite uh, YouTube channels, man. You know what I'm saying? Bro, be spitting that heat. He be coming with the facts. You know what I'm saying? He know he know his boxing. You know what I'm saying? If you want to know about any type of boxing, he, he fuck with it. From American to international. You know what I'm saying? He be fucking with the dudes over there in the UK. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Shout out to Trap House for that. But me, man, what I want to talk about today, I want to talk about the current state of boxing. And uh, give you a little brief on what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Why I ain't been making videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? Kind of in the process of... Uh, moving and you know what I'm saying between kids and work and stuff like that I haven't really been finding time to make videos and by me working at night you know what I'm saying uh it's kind of hard man because I still got to you know go home and get sleep and I've really been focusing on uh the Smoke City Mobcast Instagram page you know what I'm saying so I need for everybody to go <coughs> and follow Smoke City Mobcast on Instagram. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Give us a comment. You know what I'm saying? Because we is coming with all of the boxing news. You know what I'm saying? It's all, all boxing news, all boxing stories. You know what I'm saying? All boxing content is on the Smoke City Mobcast Instagram page. Be sure to follow us on Smoke City Mobcast on all platforms. Right now, it's just YouTube and Instagram. So we need to get some of these people that's on YouTube that subscribe to the page for the Smoke City to come to Instagram. And if we can't get to you on YouTube when we go live, come leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how you, let me know how you feel about a certain situation or, you know, what, you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to talk about, man. The, the, the Smoke City Mob Cave is always open, bro. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is go to go to Instagram. You know what I'm saying? You can hit us in the DM. Leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Just let us know, man. How you feeling? You know what I'm saying? But I want to talk about the current state of boxing. And I'm already three minutes into this bitch. Just, just running my mouth. You know what I'm saying? But I had to say what I had to say, man. You know what I'm saying? That's like my little, my little intro clip or whatever. But uh, current state of boxing as of uh, April 18th, 2018, man. Uh, right now, I'm going to say boxing is at, is at a B minus. It could be a, it could be an A plus, you know, if he was getting the biggest fight in boxing, which we're not, which is the Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, you know, we doing everything we can to try to get this fight, but uh, Anthony Joshua and his team are making it impossible to to to, to get. And um, so 
Hopefully these guys continue to go undefeated. Probably for the next year or two. And the stock of the fight keeps going up, hopefully. And Anthony Joshua will hopefully one day live up to his word. He says he, want, he wants to make the Wilder fight happen. But Eddie Hearn has a, a hundred and million and one excuses on why it shouldn't happen. You know, and as a fight fan, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care about the money or the splits or the percentages. You know what I'm saying? But I know that that's a big money fight. And I know that these guys are going to get paid off the fight. So why haven't the fight happened yet? You know what I'm saying? But, uh... <clears throat> I want to talk about Tank Davis and the upcoming card for this weekend. Adrian Broner versus Jesse Vargas. Jamal Charlo versus uh, Santana. And you got, um... Tank Davis versus uh, Jose Celiar. I have you say his name. Uh, excuse me if I pr uh, mispronounce your name, but uh, yeah, Cellular. I think that's how you say his last name. You know what I'm saying? Great, great, great card. Hopefully, it's a great uh, weekend of boxing. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited for this weekend's fights. You know what I'm saying? You got Earl Spence coming back in June. You got Charlo, J Jamil Charlo coming back in June. You know what I'm saying? Then you got, we don't know who Triple G fighting in May. You got Terrence Crawford coming back in May. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather didn't let the cat out the bag. He gonna let Tank fight Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Canelo, we don't know what the situation and status is of Canelo Alvarez. Um... We got Bottle Jack coming back. Hopefully him and Adonis Stevenson. You know what I'm saying? That fight will be pretty good. And um, overall, man, I feel like Showtime Boxing is holding down the fort of, of boxing and keeping the core of boxing stable. And, and it's keeping fight fans satisfied for the most part. You know what I'm saying? We just not getting the big major marquee fights the biggest fights in boxing are not being made and that's and that's the that's the problem that guys are having with the sport you know what i'm saying we're not getting deontay wilder anthony joshua we haven't got earl spence and keith thurman uh these welterweights still gotta fight each other you got danny garcia sean porter uh you got terence crawford and earl spence down now you got crawford and uh danny garcia all these guys gotta mix it up then you got the middleweights. You got Triple G, Jam uh, Jamal Charlo, Danny Jacobs, Canelo, Billy Joe Saunders. You know what I'm saying? Ramachenko, uh, Triple G's IBF mandatory that he didn't want to fight for whatever reason. And that's like a uh, that guy is like from from where Triple G's from. He's from the Soviet Union, Russia, U the Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? Kazakhstan. He's from one of them places. You know what I'm saying? Um, then, like I said, you got Badu Jack and Adonna Stevenson. They mixing it up at 175. You still got Sergey Kovalev, him and Marcus Brown fighting. Then you got Demetrius Bivol. You know what I'm saying? Sergey Kovalev ducking that fight. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't really fuck with the cruiserweights that much, but I know you got uh, Usyk and uh, what's the other guy's name? I forgot the I forgot the other cruiserweight's name. I can't think of it right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't really fuck with the cruiserweights that much, but uh, <clears throat> we already know what's going on with the heavyweights. You know what I'm saying? And anything really below 126, one, you know what I'm saying? I really don't fuck with or pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? And um, I really feel like. For a guy like me, you know what I'm saying, and for my core fan base in 503 line, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to focus on 126 and up. You know what I'm saying? My main focus is, of course, anything in the welterweights, from the super welterweight to regular welterweight to junior welterweight. So that's from 140 to 147 to 154. 
Then you got the middleweights. Then you got super middleweight. You know what I'm saying? 160, 168. You know what I'm saying? And you got light heavyweight. Then you got cruiserweight, which is a dull division. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, you got heavyweight, <laughs> which is a whole bunch of uh, bullshit going on at the heavyweight division due to Eddie Hearn and uh, Matchroom Boxing. You know what I'm saying? It's just... Um, it's, it's at a B, man. It's okay, man. It could be a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we we, we got to come together. You know what I'm saying? I think all fight fans should come together and stop making it a a, a black and white thing or an American or a United Kingdom thing or American and Europe thing. I just think that, guys, if you like who you like, if you like Sergey Kovalev, and I like Andre Ward, then that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean that we don't want to see them fight again just because you like Kovalev and I like Ward. You know what I'm saying? Or you like Triple G and I like Jamal, you know, Jamal Charlo. You know what I'm saying? These dudes got to fight each other, bro. This, this is what... This is what fight fans pay... Their subscription for this is what guys pay for pay per view. This is why guys pay for merchandise from their favorite fighters, and we got to see this happen, man. At the end of the day, uh, there's no way out of fighting up. You, you, it's no way possible that in this in in this days in this day's age, you know what I'm saying, that you are gonna just walk into the sport and not fight anybody that's up to par or on your level. We have to set the tone. We got to get this shit straight. We run this shit. You know what I'm saying? The fighters have to understand and they have to respect fight fans. All colors and all colors. You know what I'm saying? All ethnic groups. You know what I'm saying? All ages. I don't care if you just started watching boxing. Uh, shit. The last fight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you just started watching boxing fucking for AJ versus Parker, or you just started watching boxing from Deontay Wilder, it don't matter. At the end of the day, everybody want to see the best fight the best. That's how you get casual fans to come into the sport. That's how you get big revenue. That's how you get good content on the internet. That's how you get... Um, the media to have good stories and good content because as long as the best is not fighting the best there's always going to be a negative story out there there's always going to be an article put out there's always going to be videos made you know what i'm saying so just think about that man uh and like i said man shout out to the homie trap house boxing man i am 503 line you know what i'm saying one half of this texas trio boxing talk man Coming to you early morning grind, man. You know what I'm saying? But the current state of boxing has to get better. And it will get better if these fight fans get better. And the only way we're going to get better is by standing on these fucking fighters and these promoters, Nick. But we have to do it in sync. We all have to align together and have one purpose and one purpose only. And that's to make the best fights possible against the best opponents. The best champions should be fighting the best opponents or the best contenders or the best prospects in each weight division. Point blank period, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no way around it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to like it, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So... You know what I'm saying? You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. You know what I'm saying? We all preaching the same thing. But it is what it is, man. Love me. Hate me. Or like me, man. I'm going to always keep that motherfucking heat. And that's true. Gotta run on my racks trying to stay out the way. I stay with that Drake, nigga.